is my pleasure to give the floor to Mr. Vladimir Dlui, which is the chair of the Future Europe Task Force at Euro Chambers, to share the vision. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think that Steve's uh, intervention could not have been a better uh, laying ground for what I would like to communicate to you. Indeed, Europe is in a state of flux, and indeed the next European elections will have crucial importance. If we have heard that democracy itself is in question, and Steve was a little bit shy to go into the detail of a research which he has shared with us two weeks ago, which shows that in many European countries, even less than 40, even less than 30 percent of those who were asked believe that the liberal democracy is a proper way of governing. In this respect, we are indeed in difficult times and stakes are uh, very high. The situation in Europe reflects a certain discontent, but I am here to say that business, business can help in this situation. And not only business as such, but especially small and medium scale enterprises. Because these companies are numerous. They represent a huge part of the European electorate. Maybe some of those people belong to those who are discontent and unhappy and are ready to vote for the, for the populists. And by implication, if we create a favorable business environment, especially for the, for the SMEs, we will contribute to the jobs creation, growth, and the improvement in the standard of living, not the stagnation, as many people in Europe uh, recently have seen. On the other hand, people of Europe focus on problems they take success for granted. And here we would like to clearly state that the uh, internal market is a success despite all its shortcomings which we might eventually criticize. And business sometimes criticizes the shortcomings of internal markets and here the problems are very often real indeed. Eurochamber has always been vocal in defending the interests of its members. Eurochamber has published a declaration of entrepreneurial rights. Those 12 entrepreneurial rights that we have accompanied by a clear set of recommendations as to the policies required to assure these rights are respected. Now, before the European elections, which are of such a paramount importance, uh, Eurochamber have decided to form a committee for future of Europe, which together with my French friend Pierre Gauguet, we have the honor to chair. Uh, we decided to prepare a position paper on the future of Europe, and let's be clear what we have in mind. We envisage such a future of Europe that is open for business, Europe not bound by overregulation and hidden protectionism, Europe supportive to SMEs, Europe with transparent and enforceable rules. In, in other words, we call for true, full-fledged, solid single market, accompanied in the future by digitalization and effective e-government, as well as by strong common trade policy with obvious Europe's trading partners. The purpose of this mine short intervention is not to discuss this position paper in detail, but to inform you that we intend to complete it over the next few weeks, to make it to be our vision available both for political stakeholders before the elections, as well, hopefully, for the new commission that will be formed after the election. And our aim is clear, to support the proper environment for you, for the business people, <coughs> be it small and medium scale enterprises, but be it also the big industrial companies be it companies in the service sector, because we believe that single market, internal market, solid, transparent, efficient, and just is the main tool how to overcome the crisis which seems to be looming over Europe. And last but not least, by preparing this paper, Eurochamber 
clearly wants to say that Eurochamber wants to be heard and that Eurochamber will be heard. Thank you very much.